What if there were a mind that could think, learn, and even make decisions in much the same way that a human mind can, but without the constraints of human limitations? Welcome to the world of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is the vast and ever-growing field that seeks to create machines and software that can mimic human intelligence. This doesn't just mean being able to perform tasks that require intelligence, but also being able to understand, learn, and adapt in the same way that a human would. Machine learning, a subset of AI, is a method of data analysis that automates analytical model building. It's a branch of artificial intelligence based on the idea that systems can learn from data, identify patterns, and make decisions with minimal human intervention. To understand how AI and machine learning work, imagine a toddler learning to identify objects. You show them an apple several times, and each time you say, apple. The child eventually learns to associate the image of the apple with the word apple. This is similar to how machine learning works. Algorithms are fed data. They analyze and learn from this data, and then they make informed decisions based on what they've learned. In the span of this video, we delved into the fascinating realm of artificial intelligence and machine learning. We defined what AI and machine learning are and how they work. We compared the process of machine learning to a toddler learning to identify objects and drew parallels between human learning and machine learning. We also examined the potential of this technology to solve complex problems. AI and machine learning have a myriad of applications, from predicting weather patterns, to diagnosing diseases, to powering recommendation engines on streaming platforms. They can analyze vast amounts of data far quicker and more accurately than any human could, making them invaluable tools for problem solving in the modern world. Lastly, we pondered the question of whether machine learning could replace human jobs. While it's true that AI and machine learning may automate certain tasks, the creativity, empathy, and complex decision-making abilities of humans are elements that machines are yet to master. Remember, while machines can learn and adapt, they do not possess consciousness or emotions. They don't understand context in the way humans do. So, while they can aid and augment human efforts, they cannot replace the human touch. In this journey of discovery, we've only scratched the surface of this vast and intriguing field. The sphere of artificial intelligence and machine learning is expansive, filled with never-ending possibilities and complexities. It's like a vast ocean, teeming with potential and overflowing with secrets. It's a universe in itself, waiting to be explored and understood. The layers are many, the depths unfathomable, and the promise of what could be limitless. Each new discovery is akin to finding a new planet. Each advancement takes us one step closer to understanding this universe a little better. Each innovation is like a star, illuminating the darkness and bringing us closer to the truth. And it's not just about comprehending this truth, it's about harnessing it, using it to push the boundaries of what's possible. Who knows what the future holds for AI and machine learning? The possibilities are myriad. We're standing at the edge of a precipice peering into the unknown. The future could be anything we want it to be. It could be a world where AI and machine learning is the norm, where these technologies are integrated into every aspect of our lives, from our homes to our workplaces, from our cars to our smartphones. Or it could be a world where these technologies are still in their infancy, where we're still grappling with the implications and responsibilities that come with such advanced technology. These technologies offer unparalleled opportunities. They have the power to revolutionize industries, to transform societies, to change the world as we know it. But with great power comes great responsibility. As we continue to innovate, as we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible, we must this. We must remember the power and responsibility that come with such advanced technology. AI and machine learning are creating a new world, a world that's more efficient, more productive, more intelligent, they're reshaping the way we live, work, and interact. They're giving us the tools to solve problems that were once thought unsolvable. They're empowering us to make the impossible. They're allowing us to dream bigger, to reach higher, to strive for more. This is the dawn of a new era in technology, an era that holds untold potential. 
an era where AI and machine learning are not just buzzwords, but integral parts of our everyday lives. An era where these technologies are not just the future, but the now. An era of exploration, of discovery, of innovation. As we continue to explore and understand technology, we're not just shaping machines, we're shaping the future. We're molding it with our ideas, our innovations, our dreams. We're shaping it with our actions, our decisions, our responsibilities. Every step we take, every discovery we make, every boundary we push, is a step towards shaping the future. A future that's brighter, smarter, and more promising than ever before. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are not just the future, they are the now. And as we continue to explore and understand this technology, we're not just shaping machines, we're shaping the future. Thank you for journeying with us through the vast universe of artificial intelligence and machine learning. We hope you enjoyed this exploration as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. Your time, interest and curiosity are deeply appreciated. We hope that this video has sparked your interest, piqued your curiosity and left you with a desire to learn more. But the journey doesn't end here. There's so much more to discover, so much more to learn. And we invite you to join us on this journey of exploration, discovery, and learning. The world of technology is constantly evolving, constantly changing. And to stay ahead of the curve, to stay informed, it's important to keep learning, to keep exploring, to keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible. To do this, we encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, My Project Paper. By subscribing, you'll be joining a community of curious minds, a community of lifelong learners, a community of people who are passionate about technology and its potential. You'll be the first to know about our new videos, our latest discoveries, and our most recent insights into the world of technology. So, if you're interested in technology, if you're curious about the future, if you want to be a part of this exciting journey, then we invite you to subscribe to our channel, My Project Paper. Join us as we explore the future of technology, as we delve deep into the world of AI and machine learning, as we push the boundaries of what's possible. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, My Project Paper, for more insights into the future of technology. Your support means the world to us. Thank you for being a part of our journey. We look forward to exploring the future with you. Ever wondered how drone technology came into existence and evolved over time? Well, let me take you on a journey back to the early days of drone technology. It all began with military use, where the need for unmanned and remote-controlled vehicles birthed the idea of drones. In the early 20th century, during the throes of World War I, the seeds of drone technology were planted. The military saw the potential of using unmanned vehicles for surveillance and combat, leading to the development of early prototypes. However, it wasn't until World War II that drones began to take on a more defined shape and purpose. The late 1960s brought about significant advancements in drone technology. The Vietnam War was a critical period for drones as they were used extensively for surveillance and reconnaissance missions. These unmanned aircrafts helped to gather vital information from enemy territories, marking a significant milestone in the evolution of drone technology. Fast forward to the 1990s and we see the emergence of drones in the commercial sphere. The advancement in technology, coupled with the reduction in manufacturing costs, made drones more accessible to the general public. They began to be used in various sectors, from agriculture and real estate to photography and filmmaking. The 21st century marked the dawn of recreational drones. These flying machines became popular toys, with people using them for racing, photography and just plain fun. The introduction of GPS technology in drones was a game-changer, making them more user-friendly and accessible to a wider audience. Now, drones are not just limited to military, commercial, or recreational use. They have permeated various sectors from delivering packages to assisting in search and rescue missions, from inspecting infrastructure to spraying crops in agriculture. In the span of a century, drone technology has evolved from simple, remote-controlled vehicles to sophisticated machines capable of performing a wide range of tasks. The journey of drones is a testament to the rapid advancement of technology and the endless possibilities that it holds. From military tools to toys and commercial equipment, drones have come a long way. As we continue to innovate and push the boundaries, who knows what the future holds for drone technology? 
But how do these fascinating machines actually work? Let's delve into the mechanics of drones. At the heart of drone operation lies a concept as old as aviation itself, the principle of lift. Similar to how birds or airplanes take flight, drones generate lift through their propellers. When these propellers spin, they push air down, causing an equal and opposite force that lifts the drone into the air. This is a practical example of Newton's third law of motion in action. But a drone's flight is not solely dependent on propellers. It's a complex dance of technology with multiple components working together. The flight controller acting as the drone's brain keeps it stable and responsive to the pilot's commands. This controller adjusts the speed of each propeller to control the drone's movement, like turning, hovering, or moving in any direction. Now, how does a drone know where it is or where it's headed? That's where GPS technology comes into play. Drones use GPS signals to determine their position and altitude. This information is crucial for tasks like returning to a home point or following a predetermined flight path. And let's not forget about the drone's eyes, the camera. Drones often come equipped with high-resolution cameras that can capture stunning aerial footage. Some even have gimbals, mechanical stabilizers that keep the camera steady during flight, ensuring smooth, cinematic-quality shots. But what about controlling the drone? Well, that's where the remote control or transmitter comes into the picture. It communicates with the drone, sending your commands to the flight controller. Some drones can even be controlled using smartphone apps, making them more accessible than ever. So there you have it. From propellers generating lift to cameras capturing breathtaking views, drones are a marvel of modern technology. And while these are the basic mechanics, remember that drones can vary greatly in their complexity and capabilities. Some drones come with advanced features like obstacle detection and avoidance, thermal imaging, and much more. Understanding the mechanics of drones allows us to appreciate their capabilities and potential. So next time you see a drone buzzing in the sky, remember the intricate technology making it all possible. Scene script: Drones have found their place in a variety of sectors, but do you know which ones? Let's start with agriculture. Farmers are using drones to monitor crop health, optimize irrigation, and even plant seeds. The bird's eye view provided by drones allows for a more detailed analysis of the fields, helping farmers to detect issues early and take corrective actions promptly. Next, we have real estate. Realtors and property developers are leveraging drone technology to capture stunning aerial photographs and videos of properties. These high-definition visuals provide potential buyers with a comprehensive view of the property, making it easier for them to make informed decisions. Moving on to disaster management, drones are proving to be game changers. They're used for search and rescue operations, damage assessment, and delivering essential supplies to disaster-stricken areas. Drones can reach places that are often inaccessible to humans, making them invaluable in emergency situations. Then, there are delivery services. Companies like Amazon are experimenting with drone deliveries, aiming to reduce delivery times and increase efficiency. Picture this, your online order flying straight to your doorstep in a matter of minutes. Cool, isn't it? And let's not forget about the entertainment industry. Drones are being used in filmmaking for capturing breathtaking aerial shots. They're also making waves in the world of sports where drone racing has become a thrilling new form of competition. But that's not all. Drones are being used in countless other sectors such as mining, archaeology, wildlife conservation, and even in the fight against poaching. They're helping us to map unexplored terrains, monitor endangered species, and protect our natural heritage. So whether it's for farming, selling houses, saving lives, delivering packages, or making movies, drones are making a significant impact. And as technology continues to evolve, we can expect to see even more innovative applications for these versatile machines. These sectors have harnessed the power of drones, revolutionizing their operations. And you can bet that this is just the beginning of the drone revolution. The use of drones in warfare has been a hot topic recently. What's all the fuss about? Drones or unmanned aerial vehicles have revolutionized the way conflicts are fought on the global stage. They've come a long way from their initial roles of surveillance and reconnaissance. Today, drones serve as a critical component of modern warfare with the capability to carry out precision strikes, eliminating targets with less risk to human life. Drones have brought a new dimension to warfare. They can hover over an area for hours or even days waiting for the optimal moment to strike. 
This endurance, combined with their ability to operate in hostile environments, makes them invaluable assets. They can be controlled remotely, reducing the risk to military personnel who would otherwise be in the line of fire. However, the use of drones in warfare is not without controversy. Critics argue that their use makes war seem too easy, too impersonal. There's a fear that the detachment provided by drones could lead to increased military interventions as the risk to human soldiers is significantly reduced. Moreover, there's the issue of collateral damage. While drones can be precise, there's always a risk of civilian casualties and that risk is amplified when the operator is thousands of miles away, relying on video feeds to make life and death decisions. In addition, there's the question of the legality of drone strikes, particularly those carried out in countries where the attacking nation is not officially at war. These strikes, often justified under the banner of combating terrorism, have drawn criticism and accusations of violating international law. The use of drones in warfare has changed the face of modern conflict, but not without raising important ethical questions. As technology continues to advance, these questions will only become more pressing. It's clear that drones have the potential to be powerful tools in warfare, but like all tools, they must be used responsibly and with a clear understanding of their implications. There's no doubt drones have made a significant impact, but what are the real benefits of drone technology? As we dive into the benefits of drone technology, it's clear that these flying gadgets are more than just a modern marvel. They represent a leap forward in efficiency cost savings, and the ability to reach areas that were previously inaccessible. Firstly, drones drastically increase efficiency in many sectors. For instance, in agriculture, drones are used for crop monitoring and irrigation management, enabling farmers to save time and resources by identifying problem areas early on. Similarly, in the construction industry, drones provide a bird's eye view of the site, allowing for quick inspections and accurate measurements. Also, think about search and rescue operations. Drones can scour large areas much quicker than humans, significantly increasing the chances of a successful rescue. Secondly, drones offer substantial cost savings. From reducing the need for human labor to cutting down on equipment costs, drones are a cost-effective solution for many industries. Let's look at the film industry, for example. Aerial shots that once required expensive helicopters and camera equipment can now be captured using relatively inexpensive drones. This makes breathtaking cinematic views accessible to filmmakers on a budget. Lastly, drones can reach areas that are otherwise inaccessible to humans, be it a hazardous chemical spill site, a remote mountainous region, or the heart of a raging forest fire. Drones can safely gather data and provide real-time insights without risking human lives. This capability is particularly beneficial in disaster management and environmental research. Moreover, drones are also playing a crucial role in reducing carbon emissions. Think about it. Drones can replace the need for cars or trucks in certain delivery services, thereby reducing the carbon footprint associated with these activities. So, it's not just about the cool factor. The benefits of drone technology are numerous, making them an invaluable tool in many fields. From farming to filmmaking, from construction to conservation, drones are revolutionizing the way we work and live. The benefits of drone technology are numerous, making them an invaluable tool in many fields. Scene script. However, like any technology, drones come with their own set of limitations and concerns. Let's delve into these drawbacks, shall we? First off, we encounter the issue of privacy. Drones, especially those equipped with high-resolution cameras, can unintentionally or intentionally invade personal spaces, raising significant privacy concerns. Imagine a drone peeping through your window. Unsettling, isn't it? This issue has prompted many to call for stricter regulations around drone usage in residential areas. Moving on, we come to safety risks. Drones, being mechanical and susceptible to malfunctions, can pose a threat to people and property. A drone crashing into a high-rise window or worse, colliding with an airplane is a chilling thought. Furthermore, the risk of drones being used for illicit activities such as smuggling or espionage is a grave concern that cannot be overlooked. Then we have the regulatory challenges. With drones becoming increasingly popular, crafting and enforcing rules that govern their use is a complex task. 
Different countries have different laws, and the rapid evolution of drone technology makes it a moving target for regulators. The need for universal drone laws is evident, but reaching a global consensus is easier said than done. Another concern is the environmental impact. Drones, like any electronic device, contribute to electronic waste. Moreover, the noise pollution caused by drones can disrupt local wildlife and ecosystems. Finally, there's the limitation of battery life. Despite advancements, the flight time of drones is still relatively short. This restricts their range and usability, especially in remote or hard-to-reach areas. While drones offer many benefits, it's important to address these concerns to ensure responsible usage. It's not about stifling innovation, but rather about striking a balance between technological advancement and our safety, privacy, and environmental responsibilities. As we continue to explore the possibilities of drone technology, let's do so with caution and consideration. So, what's next for drones? What does the future hold? As we venture into the future, drones are set to play an increasingly pivotal role in various facets of our lives. We're moving beyond the realm of hobbyist drones and military applications into a future where drones could become as commonplace as smartphones. One of the most exciting prospects lies in the advancement of artificial intelligence. As AI becomes more sophisticated, drones will be able to carry out complex tasks with minimal human intervention. Imagine a drone that can autonomously navigate a dense forest, locate a lost hiker, and send their coordinates to rescue teams. Or a drone that can independently monitor a vast agricultural field, detect signs of disease in crops, and apply targeted treatments. These are not mere fantasies, but tangible realities we might soon witness. Increased autonomy is another significant development on the horizon. Drones that can make independent decisions based on their environment would revolutionize industries like logistics and delivery. Picture a world where your online purchases are delivered right to your doorstep by a drone, or where medical supplies are flown across traffic-congested cities to reach patients in need. The commercial applications of drones are also set to explode. From real estate to cinematography, drones are already making waves. But the future could see drones integrated into sectors we can't even imagine today. Perhaps drones will become the new selfie stick following us around to capture our best angles, or maybe they'll be the next big thing in live sports, providing immersive 360-degree coverage of every match. The future of drones is also likely to see advancements in battery technology, improvements in safety features, and breakthroughs in collision avoidance systems. These developments will make drones more efficient, reliable, and accessible to the masses. In essence, the future of drones is a thrilling, prospect teeming with possibilities. As technology continues to evolve, drones are set to become an integral part of our everyday lives. The future of drones is exciting and full of potential. As technology continues to advance, who knows what possibilities lie ahead? In our journey today, we've covered a lot of ground on drone technology. We've traced the dawn of this innovative technology, understanding the intricate mechanics that enable drones to perform their aerial dance. We've seen how drones have found applications in various sectors, from agriculture and real estate to the more intense realms of warfare. We've delved into the manifold benefits of drones, their potential to revolutionize industries, and their role in increasing efficiency and safety. Yet, we've also addressed the limitations and concerns surrounding drone technology, acknowledging that like any tool, it is not without its challenges. Looking ahead, we've glimpsed into the future of drones, a future filled with promise and potential. But as with any emerging technology, it is up to us to harness its capabilities responsibly and thoughtfully. Drones are more than just flying machines. They are tools of innovation and progress shaping our world in ways we may have never imagined. What if there were a mind that could think, learn? Can you imagine a world where the lines between reality and the di can you imagine a world where the lines between reality and the digital realm are blurred? This is the world that virtual reality, or VR, promises to deliver. But how did we get here? Let's take a quick journey back in time to the dawn of VR. In the swinging 60s, while the world was enthralled by the space race and the Beatles, a quiet revolution was taking place in the realm of technology. The Sensorama, a primitive version of VR, was born. It was a mechanical device that offered a multi-sensory experience, incorporating sights, sounds, and even smells to transport the user to a different world. But the Sensorama was limited. It was bulky, not interactive, and could only simulate pre-recorded experiences. 
The vision of a fully immersive virtual world was still a far-off dream, but the seed had been planted. In the late 70s a new development took us a step closer to this dream. The first head-mounted display or HMD was introduced. It was a far cry from the sleek VR headsets we know today, but it was revolutionary for its time. For the first time, users could look around a virtual environment, giving a sense of presence and immersion. However, the technology of the time was still not up to the task. The graphics were rudimentary, the devices were uncomfortable and heavy, and the cost was prohibitive for most. The dream of VR was alive, but it was clear that the technology needed to catch up. Despite these challenges, developers and innovators kept pushing the boundaries, driven by the vision of a world where we could seamlessly blend the physical and the digital. They knew that the journey was just beginning, and that the road to VR would be a long one. And they were right. It would take several more decades of technological advancements, countless trials and errors, and the relentless spirit of innovation to bring us to where we are today. The dawn of VR was indeed just that, a dawn. This was just the beginning, a stepping stone to the immersive experiences we enjoy today. What if we told you that you could enhance your reality rather than replace it? Welcome to the world of augmented reality, a technology that superimposes digital information onto our physical surroundings, creating a blend of real and virtual. The journey of augmented reality or AR began with its early uses in military applications. In the mid-1960s Ivan Sutherland, often referred to as the father of computer graphics, developed the first head-mounted display system for immersive simulation training. This was a primitive form of AR but it laid the groundwork for what was to come. Fast forward to the late 20th century, Arkansas made its way into commercial applications. From car manufacturers using AR for design and production, to retailers offering virtual try-ons, Arkansas started to change the way businesses operate. But it didn't stop there. With the advent of smartphones, Arkansas took a massive leap. It was no longer confined to specialized environments or expensive equipment. Developers began creating AR apps turning our phones into magic windows that can overlay digital information onto the real world. Apps like Pokemon Go and Snapchat filters brought AR into the mainstream, capturing imaginations worldwide. The unique benefits of AR are numerous. It provides real-time information, enhancing our interaction with the real world. Imagine walking down a street pointing your phone at a restaurant and instantly seeing reviews and menu items. Or picture a mechanic fixing a complex engine, guided by AR overlays showing each step in detail. These are just a couple of examples of how AR can seamlessly integrate digital information into our everyday lives. Yet, the potential of AR is far from realized. With advancements in wearable technology, we might soon see AR glasses replacing our screens providing a hands-free, immersive experience. AR has opened up new avenues for innovation, transforming our interaction with the world around us. It's not about replacing reality but enhancing it, making our lives more interactive, informative, and ultimately, more exciting. What happens when you merge the immersive capabilities of VR with the real-time enhancements of AR? Let's dive into the third scene. The convergence of VR and AR. Virtual reality, or VR, pulls us into an entirely different world, providing a fully immersive experience that detaches us from our physical surroundings. Augmented reality, or AR, on the other hand, overlays digital elements onto our real world, enhancing our interaction with our immediate environment. Now imagine the possibilities when these two technologies converge. This convergence has given birth to a new form of reality called mixed reality. This is where the physical and digital worlds collide, creating a hybrid environment where virtual and real objects coexist and interact in real time. With mixed reality, we're not just spectators in a virtual world or mere observers of overlaid information. Instead, we become active participants in a world that is a blend of the real and the virtual. This new dimension of reality has opened up a plethora of opportunities, especially in the fields of gaming, education, and professional training. In gaming, imagine battling aliens on the streets of your hometown or catching mythical creatures in your backyard. In education, students can now step back in time to explore ancient civilizations or dive into the human body to understand its complexity. And in professional training, surgeons can practice intricate procedures or engineers can simulate complex machinery, all in a risk-free and cost-effective environment. This synergy of VR and AR is not just about creating a new form of entertainment or a novel way of learning. It's about transforming the way we perceive and interact with the world around us. It's about bridging the gap between the physical and the digital. 
between reality and imagination. As the lines between the physical and digital continue to blur, we are only limited by our imagination. So let's envision, explore, and embrace this exciting convergence of realities. Ready to take a leap into the future? Imagine a world where virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality AR technologies are as omnipresent as smartphones are today. A world where advancements in haptic technology, artificial intelligence, and spatial computing have blurred the lines between the digital and the physical, creating immersive experiences that are indistinguishable from reality. This is the future we're steering towards. A future where VR and AR are no longer just buzzwords, but integral parts of our daily lives. Let's take a moment to delve into these advancements. Haptic technology, for instance, is progressing at a rapid pace. It's set to transform VR and AR experiences by allowing us to touch and feel virtual objects, bringing a whole new level of immersion. Imagine feeling the texture of an ancient artifact in a virtual museum, or the vibrations of a virtual guitar string. It's all becoming possible. Then there's artificial intelligence, an indispensable cog in the VR and AR machinery. AI is not only making these technologies smarter but also more personalized. It's enabling the creation of virtual assistants that can understand and respond to our emotions, making our interactions with the virtual world more natural and intuitive. Spatial computing, on the other hand, is revolutionizing the way we interact with digital content. It's enabling us to manipulate virtual objects in 3D space, just like we would in the real world. This opens up a plethora of possibilities, especially in industries such as healthcare, entertainment, and tourism. In healthcare, for instance, VR and AR can enable remote surgeries, medical training, and patient rehabilitation. In entertainment, they can create immersive gaming and movie experiences. In tourism, they can transport us to far-off places without leaving the comfort of our homes. The future of VR and AR is indeed exciting. But it's important to remember that these technologies are not just about creating cool gadgets or immersive games. They're about creating experiences that are indistinguishable from reality, experiences that can educate us, heal us, entertain us, and connect us in ways we've never imagined before. The future of VR and AR is not just about technology, it's about creating experiences that are indistinguishable from reality. But what does this mean for our economy? Let's dive into how the surge of virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality, AR, could potentially impact our economy. As we usher in this brave new world of VR and AR, we're not just talking about a new form of entertainment or a new way to interact with technology. We're talking about an entirely new industry. This means job creation in a variety of fields. From developers and engineers creating these immersive worlds, to marketers and salespeople bringing them to the masses. It's a new frontier, and with every frontier, there's an opportunity for pioneers. Beyond job creation, VR and AR hold the promise of increased productivity. Imagine a world where a surgeon in New York can use VR to assist in a complex operation taking place in Tokyo. Or a mechanic can use AR to visualize and diagnose a car engine problem without getting under the hood. The possibilities are endless. And with these possibilities come increased efficiency, and in turn, economic growth. But let's not stop there. VR and AR are also opening up brand new business opportunities. From VR arcades to AR-enhanced shopping experiences, businesses are finding innovative ways to incorporate these technologies to offer new services and enhance customer experiences. This not only creates new revenue streams, but also fosters competition, which is a key driver for economic growth. And finally consider the global competitiveness. Countries that embrace and invest in VR and AR technologies stand to gain a competitive edge in this fast-evolving digital economy. They'll be the ones setting the standards, driving innovation, and reaping the economic benefits. So, when we look at the potential economic impact of VR and AR, we're looking at a future filled with new jobs, increased productivity, innovative business opportunities, and heightened global competitiveness. The economic potential of VR and AR is as vast as the experiences they can create. Could your smartphone soon be a thing of the past? It's a question that's been brewing in the minds of tech enthusiasts and futurists alike. As we delve into the realm of virtual reality, VR and augmented reality, AR, we can't help but wonder if these technologies could eventually replace our beloved mobile phones. Let's start by considering the advantages of VR and AR. These technologies immerse us in a digital world, and overlay digital information onto our physical environment respectively. 
With a VR or AR device we could potentially have access to our favorite apps, games, and communication tools in a hands-free, visually engaging manner. Imagine walking through a virtual art gallery with your friends from different corners of the world, or overlaying a cooking tutorial onto your kitchen countertop. These experiences could potentially offer a level of interaction and immersion that smartphones can't match. But it's not all rosy. There are significant challenges that need to be addressed before VR and AR can truly replace mobile phones. Accessibility is a prime concern. Mobile phones are relatively affordable and easy to use, making them accessible to a vast demographic. VR and AR devices, on the other hand, are currently more expensive and require a certain level of technological understanding. Privacy is another concern. While smartphones certainly collect a lot of data about us, VR and AR could take this one step further by collecting data on our physical movements and interactions. It's a reality that could potentially be misused if not properly regulated. Lastly, there's the issue of user comfort. While the idea of immersing ourselves in a digital world or overlaying digital information onto our physical environment sounds exciting, it could also be overwhelming for some users. Getting used to a new interface and a new way of interacting with technology might take time and patience. Whether or not VR and AR will replace mobile phones, one thing is certain, they are redefining the way we communicate and interact with the world. And that in itself is a revolution worth watching. So, what can we take away from our journey through the world of VR and AR? We've traveled a considerable distance from the dawn of virtual and augmented reality to the potential future of these fascinating technologies. We've seen how they have evolved from their rudimentary beginnings into the cutting-edge systems that we know and love today. We began with the birth of virtual reality, a technology that immerses us in a completely digital world. We've seen its rise from a promising concept to a powerful tool that's changing the way we interact with digital content. Then we explored the rise of augmented reality, a technology that layers digital information onto our physical world. We've marveled at how it's transforming our interaction with our surroundings, making our environment interactive and digitally manipulatable. We've also delved into the convergence of VR and AR, a combination that promises to bring the best of both worlds. This convergence holds the potential to create immersive experiences that blend the digital and physical realms in ways we're just starting to understand. We've glimpsed the future of VR and AR. We've imagined a world where these technologies are as commonplace as smartphones are today, a world where digital and physical realities coexist and interact in real time. We've also pondered the economic impact of VR and AR. We've discussed how these technologies could create new industries, generate jobs, and contribute to economic growth. We've considered the potential for VR and AR to revolutionize sectors from education to healthcare, from entertainment to real estate. Finally, we've asked the provocative question, will VR and AR replace mobile phones? While the answer remains uncertain, we've explored the potential for these technologies to change the way we communicate and interact with each other and the world around us. The future of VR and AR is still unwritten but one thing is clear, they are set to transform our lives in ways we can only begin to imagine. Before we wrap up this insightful journey through the world of VR and AR, we at My Project Paper would like to take a moment to express our deepest gratitude. We are incredibly thankful to you, our subscribers, for your unwavering support and enthusiasm. Each one of you has played an invaluable role in our growth. Your love and affection have not just encouraged us, but have also motivated us to innovate, research, and push our boundaries. We are truly humbled by your response and hope to continue providing you with content that is both informative and engaging. As we move forward, we request you to continue supporting us and help us reach more people by spreading the word about my project paper. With your continued support, we can keep exploring, keep innovating, and keep growing. We promise to keep delving into fascinating topics like VR and AR and continue to bring you the latest insights from these rapidly evolving fields. So here's to you, our subscribers, and to the exciting journey ahead. Once again, thank you from the bottom of our hearts.